One of the most powerful features of Azure is policy. Policies enable us to set up subscription-wide rules for managing Azure resources. Let's look at some examples. This policy enforces that every resource must have a cost center tag. An organization might use this if they want to have chargebacks for different departments or cost centers. This policy takes it one step further, not only enforcing that we have a tag for department, but also that the tag be one of the values in this list. An organization might have a policy where they only want resources from one of these four categories to be allowed to be provisioned. This policy shows an example of that. Azure supports adjacent representations for policies, but our editor makes policy authoring very easy. For example, you can see I'm deleting different conditions. We can add not, and, and or operators very easily. These can also be nested, and we can add conditions to each one. Not name equals foobar. We can preview the policy if we do want to see the JSON representation. This is the Azure ARM policy. As you can see, our editor makes it a much easier task than authoring this JSON directly. Let's look at one final example. Another major differentiator for the AIS service catalog is that we leverage policy to make the provisioning process more user-friendly. Here we have a geo-compliance policy that enforces that the location must be in one of these three data centers, East US, East US 2, or Central US. Let me show this in action. I'm gonna to go to the product catalog. I'm gonna select the web app with policy, and I'm gonna click provision, and I'm just gonna select a subscription and a resource group. Now, if we look at the dropdown for location, you'll notice the locations in this dropdown match the policy exactly. We are actually pulling these values directly from the Azure policy. This saves us from having to duplicate the allowed values for location across numerous ARM templates in our catalog. This makes the management of ARM templates much easier.